Yeah, so it's really late. Um, it's 5.30 in the morning, and I can't sleep. I laid there for like an hour or two hours, and I can't fall asleep because I have this huge question on my mind, and it's, what am I going to do with my life? And, you know, I'm graduating in August, and I'm probably going to get married around that time, and I just don't know what I'm going to do. And I don't mean job, like, I can get a job, like, I'm not worried about that. I, I know enough people that I have contacts, I could get a job, but I'm more worried about what I'm going to do with my life, like, what am I going to look back on when I'm 80 and say, that is what defined my life, like, that is why I was created, like, I don't know what that is. I know that it's it's got to be something that's just huge. Like, because if I'm not doing something huge, then I'm not motivated to, to do anything. And the biggest passion that I have has to be in it. And right now, my biggest passion is just loving people. Like, just just showing them, like, someone cares. And, like, someone is here for you, and like, we'll listen to them, we'll know them, we'll provide physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, like, any way that I can, I just want to just help people, I just, I read this book, and it was written by Shane Claiborne, it was called The Irresistible Revolution. And in it, he just talks about his life. And his life is so simple. All he does is just go places and loves people. Like the rich, the poor, mostly the poor, the, you know, the diseased, the homeless, like... Anyone he can find, he just he just loves on them, and like I would love to live that life, you know, just going around and loving on people, and and that sounds so simple, yet to us Americans it sounds so stinking hard. Like, how do you walk away from securities, and and how do you provide for a bride, you know, and kids, like, when you're just, your job description is loving people, like, what kind of money does that bring you, it, it doesn't, you know, like, so, so where's a guy like me left, you know, like, a guy that's gonna be married, and has a college degree, and, uh, but all he wants to do is just love people. Like, where do I fit? Like, what jobs are out there for me to do? I don't know, man. I, I feel like sometimes it's, like, I gotta create it, you know? Like, I gotta go into this thing and say, oh, man, like, this is what I wanna do. I'm gonna go out and create this thing. And I'm gonna get other people who have the same passions, who are right out of college or, you know, older and they just, they just want to love people and they just want to give their lives to other people and serving them, like, like, what is that? I mean, to me, that's the basic description of ministry, like, and so ministry is what I want to do, but at the same time, ministry, how it's known today is so not what I want to do, like, how do we get into all these rules, and these things, and we can't do this, we can do this, and we have to do this and that, like, no, like, let's just love people, and let's just, let's just be there for them, like, that's, that's what I want, you know, and, uh, I don't know, I don't know where to get that. I don't know where to. What that looks like. 
And so I guess I'm just stuck. I'm just stuck here wondering what that thing in my life is. That's a hard place for me to be because I know as soon as I know what that is, I will take that and I will run with it. Like I will run and work at it so hard. And I'm just waiting, you know? I'm just waiting like like tell me, like show me what it is. So that's where I'm at tonight. And I just can't stop thinking about it. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking like, wow, like all I want to do is love on people. Like all I want to do is just show people like love and community and that someone cares. Let me know. Like, like let's figure out what this is together. Like let's, let's go out and love people together. Until then, just, just love.